Look, I think that we now know that we're in the midst of an election. The first announcement that we're in the midst of an election was comical. It was Julius Malema provocatively and deliberately chanting something that he knew would dominate the headlines and the airways. He knew it would. He would be the topic of conversation. For a week, he needn't pay a single adverts money. He would rile the usual suspects. They would threaten all kinds of things. And so Julius Malema has achieved his purpose. He's in the headlines, he's in the public space, and he's speaking to a voter base that he knew was diminishing. But his opponents took themselves so seriously by taking Julius Malema so seriously and walked right into his trap and made sure that Julius Malema's election campaign had kicked off in the most outrageous way, the most provocative way, sometimes even the most vile way, because the merits of chanting, kill the boor, kill the farmer, that's moot. It is the performative. It is the idea of choreographing an outrage. A theater of a politics. A theater of politics. And so I don't know who's more stupid, the one who chanted it, or the others who rose to the challenge to also mobilize their base. Look how well we are protecting you. And they give themselves away. Who's their base? Who is this boers and farmers that you're going to protect? And at the expense of who? So, so, so that was the one thing in which the election campaign kicked off comically. But it also kicked off tragically, and I'll come to that point.